Yo, what's good? It's your boy TG back with another banger, man. And today, we're gonna be talking about the time that I ran away from the cops, bro. And before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you guys stay notified whenever I come out with bangers, because I'm coming out with bangers all summer. So let's get right into this. So this story starts from my freshman year of high school in my PE class. This was my sixth period. And I remember this class so perfectly because this class is honestly one of my favorite classes I ever had. Everyone in that class would always be messing around and always be up to something. All of us got along. Well, most of us got along. The thing about us is every time that we played sports, all of us were always so competitive. But there was this Filipino kid. I'm gonna name him um, Jared. And then a tall like Mexican kid. I'm gonna name him Alan. They were always arguing over basketball always always arguing no one liked alan because he was always so cocky over sports over fighting people over everything he was just cocky over everything which made him very very annoying so we were always on jared's side but at this time when they started arguing it got more aggressive and everybody started like watching them argue so everybody in the class including me would instigate them arguing and it got to the point where Alan was like, oh, Jared, I'd beat your fucking ass. And everybody obviously is instigating and we're like, damn, damn. And Jared's like, no, I'd beat your ass. And so everybody's like freaking out. Like, we want to see a fight. And they set it up the day after. So the day finally came where they were about to fight. And to be honest, everybody was hyped up. Everybody was ready for this fight. And we were on the football bleachers where the coach couldn't see us because obviously that was the blind spot where we wouldn't get caught when they were fighting and to be honest alan sort of kind of looked like he was backing down from the fight and so was jared like in the moment they were kind of just like sitting there not wanting to fight and everybody was kind of like a little bit circling around them we didn't want to make it too obvious and we had their our phones out just waiting for them to fight but they were not fighting at all so people kind of had to instigate for them to actually fight and i was one of those people because i wanted to genuinely see this fight everybody's like come on just fight already and then jared puts the first swing in but obviously he misses because they're just they're far away from each other at this point they're a bit far and he's just trying to throw a punch just for it to get started and then a teacher catches us it's like a hall monitor and he's just like hey knock it off and then went on and kept walking because to be honest the fight was so bad that even the hall monitor didn't expect the fight to keep on going so we just went on with this fucking day and at this point we're just convincing them over and over again to fight like bro you guys were literally arguing yesterday saying you're gonna fight you guys are gonna back down now and so they do not fight at all and so people are just like dang all right fine then you know and so we went on with the rest of the class period but then things got a little more heated again and so we finally went back to the football bleachers because they said you know what like i actually want to fight you now because they started arguing again like it happened every day they argued all the time and you're probably wondering what this has to do with me but you guys will see at the end of the video i promise and i'm gonna be so honest with you i didn't even have my phone out no more at this point because i was just like no nah, they're not even gonna fight they're just they're just gonna say that again because they did it last time and to be honest no one else around me in the fight that was watching it had their phones out either they were just whatever with it but then they genuinely started swinging which surprised us and then we all got loud we we're like oh shit oh shit and alan is swinging on jared and everybody thinks jared is gonna win everybody's on jared's side but the thing is alan is 10 times bigger than jared and he just he basically had him in a corner and he had nowhere else to go because this dude's bigger than him he's stronger than him obviously jared's just getting beat up by alan alan's just dominating the whole entire fight just smacking this dude around like jared cannot get a single punch in we did all fuck with jared like we did we were all friends with him but we're not gonna break up a fight because a fight's a fight you know like we have to keep it going and they're still fighting jared's still putting in a fight but the thing is jared literally got hit so hard and he got knocked out he knocked out and fell on the back of the bleachers and like hit his head on the metal so you can hear the metal in his head like hit and it sounded so bad it sounded like it hurt he fell to the floor knocked out cold so at this point everyone's freaking out because they just witnessed a knockout fight and nobody was expecting that everybody thought jared was gonna win and 
because we like Jared more. That's the only reason why we thought he was going to win, to be honest. But everybody's freaking out because it was unexpected. And it was like, I've never seen something like that in my life. So since everybody's freaking out and making noise, the coach overhears and he sees that there's a fight. So he pulls, he starts freaking out and he pulls out his walkie talkie to get like the school monitors and stuff to come and like get these people. And the thing is that he saw all of us going to the football field and he's seen that all of us were instigating the fight a few days before. But obviously he didn't do nothing because nothing ever happened and no one expected anything to happen. The only thing the coach didn't know about was us setting up the fight in general. But he knew the people that were instigating it and basically starting up the fight. So all of us start walking up the stairs and I haven't seen Jared, by the way, like I've completely forgot about Jared. We're just trying to like walk up and get out of this situation and see what happens. And they're all like still in a little circle and stuff. And the thing, the next thing that happens is so crazy. So I'm walking and then I turn around and there's another fight, but this time Alan's fighting um, someone from the group that was instigating the fight because I guess Alan was being super cocky that he knocked someone out and so the person that was instigating I guess quote unquote knew how to fight I, I don't have any idea if he knew how to fight or not but he saw that Alan was being cocky so he got mad and started fighting him and it was just a whole other fight and everybody was screaming and freaking out I say I guess to only that part because that's what his friend told me so they're fighting but the thing is the person that's fighting him that instigated it does it even go to the school he literally is just hanging out with someone that does go to the school but he doesn't even go to the school but the person that instigated the fight actually won the fight and he saw that the school police were coming and so he fucking started running one way and he got cut off by school police that were on foot and on bikes and everybody's freaking out like obviously that this whole like situation and everybody's just like holy shit holy shit and then i see jared walking up and i ask him because i seen him i'm like bro like what happened like are you good and he's like yeah it's like it is what it is like i lost the fight i can't say nothing about it he is honestly being humble about it but it sucked that he lost, but you know, he was whatever about it. So me and a few other people are walking with Jared um, to the locker room. And we see that the um, school police arrested the, um, Alan and the person that instigated the fight. Because that's like the main one that the coach saw like right in front of his face. He saw it actually happen. So we're thinking that we're chilling and like we got this in the bag. Like they don't care about like our situation no more. They're too distracted. And then the coach points at all of us and he's like get all of them there they all started and got into the fight too please called in more police and then they all got on their bikes and they all there are some on foot too and they start racing after us so we all of us jolt into the locker room we run through the locker room and we go into the main gym and then we run out the main gym doors into the cafeteria. And we're all running and laughing, to be honest, because it was honestly so freaking funny. But it was crazy at the same time. Like, this is going to be a story for, for us to be always talking about. And so the police are, like, yelling at us, like, hey, come back, come back. And we run into the main hallway, and all of us split up. And then while we're running, literally the school bell rings for seventh period. So we get saved by the bell and every student's running through the hallways now or walking through the hallways now to go to their next class. So we're literally blending in and I just go next to my next period. So I casually get into my next period and I just chill and text everyone on their phones and see if they were good and everyone else was good. They just went to their next class. Literally the bell saved all of our asses. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. It was probably one of the like craziest fights I've ever seen. Let me know if you guys want some more story times. I know you guys enjoy listening to them and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.